Hey everyone, welcome to George's Library. My name is George and today we're going to talk about Marvels by Kurt Busiek. When I decided to present graphic novels on my channel, I promised myself not to review or read any of the superhero numbers that are so popular and have already presented themselves and stated their case in the media. Everyone is already familiar with them and know them. No, my intention was to bring forth such works that challenge the way we see the literary form. Stan Lee said about Marvels that is a giant leap forward in the evolution of illustrated literature. I am happy to say that I agree and that I have the chance to introduce a great book that takes place in a universe that I am a fan of and still be able to keep a steady foot in a grounded literary form. Marvels is a four issues limited series comic book written by Kurt Busiek, painted by Alex Ross, genius, and edited by Marcus McLaurin. It was published by Marvel Comics in 1994. I have it in the one volume remastered edition. Marvels' postmodern approach looks at superheroes and villains with moral ambiguity about what they positively and negatively might do with their powers. It's dangerous having all these superheroes flying around. Basaic takes the approach specifically of taking the point of view of photographer Phil Sheldon. Phil is a photographer who, through the course of the novel, takes advantage of the rise of superheroes to gain work experience. The story is essentially a trip to Marvel comic history, beginning with the World War II based superheroes and moving forward to the space age cosmic superheroes. But the story is not about them, it's about the humans and how it might feel to live in a world dominated by these fantastic people. There is a big focus on how the individuals react to the heroic and the extraordinary. The book shows us humanity in contrast and as response to extraordinary events. Not unrelatable to the events in our world today. We see people in fear and insecurity reacting with violence and chaos. Alex Ross's sublime artwork also has an outstanding effect. His paintings bring forth the contrast between the very human themes of the story and the fantastic elements of its world. Not only is this graphic novel beautiful to look at, but the artwork creates a new layer of realism to the story, reminding the reader that we are civilians, observing and questioning the fantastic elements and not the other way around. Just have a look. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoy my reviews. If you want to hear more reviews, don't forget to hit the subscribe button in the corner. And if you have friends interested in books and stories, then don't forget to share my channel with them. I hope everyone is staying safe. Don't forget to be kind and keep on reading. See you next time.